The latest expansion for Destiny, The Taken King, has finally come out recently, and looking at the advertisements for it, I'm really excited for it. The advertisement that they've been showing is uh, similar to their original trailer that they did for Destiny, which was a live-action trailer that showed uh, a warlock and a hunter and a titan uh, in the game of Destiny, like live-action, playing Destiny, live-action. It looked great. Looked I mean, it looked like it was just a, a sci-fi movie. It looked awesome. And this one is uh, similar to that, except instead of it just being a montage of different battlefields, it's, you know, one Titan on the Taken King's ship. I don't know the story or who the Taken King is or if the bad guy is the Taken King or if he's the King and there's the Taken Son. I'm not actually sure. The live-action trio they showed for Destiny the Taken King looks great. It makes me excited. It makes me want to play Destiny. However, Bungie has a history for doing amazing ad campaigns for their video games and ultimately leaving me kind of disappointed. Uh, I don't want to say that Destiny or any of Bungie's games are bad. The games that I've played by Bungie that are the Halo series uh, and Destiny, I enjoyed. Destiny was a fun game, it just wasn't really my thing when I first played it, and I just, at some point I was just kind of like, okay, I'm done playing this. Uh, my two biggest issues with Destiny, one, it was a first-person shooter, and I just prefer third-person cover-based shooting, or at least just third-person shooting games uh, to first-person, but I don't dislike first-person games. And two, uh, was that it really didn't have that much story. I didn't really feel any story elements kind of connecting me. Um, the few characters that you saw, which really the main character that you saw that was like a reoccurring character, was uh, your ghost, which we uh, we uh, lovingly call Dinklebot. Uh, and I know they've changed from Peter Dinklage to Nolan North, but it can't be Nolan North Bot or Nolan Bot or Nol North Bot, Bot North. No, it ha it's it will always forever for me, be known as Dinklebot. But that was really the only character and story element you really had. Don't get me wrong, there were little snippets of story here and there, but not enough to really bring me in to make me care about what I was doing in the game playing it solo, because I'm generally a, slow, a solo player. But just ultimately, with those few things, Destiny, I just kind of got bored of it at one point. Which is disappointing, because, like I said, the trailers for Destiny, when they originally came out, were awesome. They made me excited and hyped to play the game, and I was ultimately, with Destiny, disappointed. This isn't the first time something like that has happened for me with Bungie. Back in the day, maybe not that long ago, I actually don't remember the year, when Halo 3 came out, the ad campaign they ran for it was this Believe ad campaign, and it was essentially a war, a war documentary of of the Human and Covenant War you saw inside this museum that was uh, dedicated to the war. You talked to veterans who fought in the war. They talked about the battles they were in. They talked about the weaponry. They talked about the Covenant. Covenant and more importantly, they talked about Master Chief and that he was what gave them hope to continue the fight. Uh, and it was, a, and it, they were amazingly done. They were just fantastic to watch. The ad campaigns for Halo 3 were fantastic. They were emotional. They focused on not so much, you know, killing noobs and fighting your friends in multiplayer. Uh, it focused on Master Chief and what was at the core of the battle against the Covenant. Which, in the end, sucked because Halo 3 really was more about killing noobs with your friends and multiplayer than it was about the story. And I was very disappointed in that. The story just let me down. It was a short playthrough. Uh, it just, I was disappointed. Um, and I mean, and at the time I was just annoyed at how, at how, how much they focused more on the multiplayer than they did the single player. To feel that way about Halo, which was one of my, is still one of my favorite franchises uh, out there. Um, it was just, it was sad. Uh, and, you know, I've since gone back and replayed Halo 3 on the Master Chief Collection, and it's still a good game. It's, it's not a bad game. It's just, it's, it's Godfather 3. It's a good game. But standing next to Halos 1 and 2, and even Halo 4, which came after it, it, it just doesn't stand up. Halo 4... Uh, actually had a very similar campaign to Halo 5, but in, uh, not Halo 5, Halo 3, uh, but instead of live-action trailers, they had 
uh, Forward Under Dawn, which was a live-action mini web series. Uh, it was like maybe five or six episodes. Uh, that was great. And then Halo 4 was great. Um, and then I just saw recently, uh, it was one small commercial for Halo 5. Uh, that was live action. So uh, I know that Halo is not is no longer under Bungie. It's 343 with Microsoft, but they're still doing that similar kind of live action game, live action campaign, um, which brings us back to the live action trailer for Destiny: The Taken King. It looks great. It looks very cinematic. It looks like it could be its own science fiction action movie. But ultimately, specifically with these games, Halo 3 and Destiny, they were ultimately disappointing. So, I wonder, are Bungie's commercials and ads better than their games sometimes? I don't want to say that Halo 3 or Destiny, even, are bad games. Uh, I did enjoy playing them. I am considering getting back into Destiny uh, now, that the now that the Taken King has come out. It looks like they fixed a lot of problems with it. They made it a little more interesting. Uh, I heard that they added more story in the first five minutes than all of the first Destiny. So I'm intrigued. I kind of want to play it. I want to play a Titan. I want to have a shotgun. I want to shoot stuff. I want to have a sword. Maybe play it in third person with the sword. I don't know, but it looks cool. But the trailers definitely, from what I can see, are cooler than the games. What do you think of Bungie's ads versus their games? Let me know in the comments. Follow me on all the internets. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Follow me on all the internets and definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel so we can geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun. One, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.